I always enjoyed helping people out and hosting a party. There's nothing better than having a party and uh, make sure everyone's having a good time, you know. <laughs> Uh, what's going on guys? I'm uh, Steve Colombero. I am the general manager at Mistral Restaurant and Elements Restaurant in Princeton, New Jersey. Um, what got me into the industry, I'd say, would be... There's a good quote out there, actually, that I always talk about. And it's like, you don't notice hospitality if it happens to you. You notice it when it happens for you. Um, and how you do anything in life is how you do everything. It would definitely started um, with my grandfather, definitely. Um, he probably the biggest influence on me getting in the hospitality industry. He owned a bakery at the age of 13 after his father passed away at Asbury Park Boardwalk. And you know, the location's still there today. The original sign is still there. It's actually a bakery today, but it's not the same. Um, <clears throat> he was uh, head of dining service at Rutgers for 31 years. You know, he wasn't a cook but by any means, but he was definitely a, uh, always there to be hospitable, you know. I like being weeded, as they say in the hospitality industry. Um, you know, not knowing what's next and just not knowing what you're doing in the moment and just going with the flow and trying to get through it. Um, it is a special breed of people who work in this industry that work the 12 to 15 hour days. Um, you gotta love it. You gotta have patience. You have to be immune to drugs and alcohol. Um, when I was like a server and all that, you, you would always look up to the manager who, or the, your manager directly to learn about whether it's wine or food and the chef and all that. And I've always had a chef and a manager that led by example. You, you actually sit down and talk to a chef and they're, they're crazy. <laughs> they're actually crazy people, you know, like in a good way though. Um, and they're the most real people you ever meet in your life. They're no, no, no cookie cutter bullshit. Like, they're not gonna bullshit you. Like, they tell you how it is, straight up. You're gonna get yelled at multiple times a night by a chef. It happens. <laughs> That's just how they are. It's a very stressful environment. When I came home from college, got kicked out of college, <laughs> not knowing what I was gonna do next, wanted to do film. Um, and I got an internship in film, but at the time I was still working at a restaurant um, on weekends just to get money because the internship wasn't paid. And, uh, you know, I, the restaurant, I was a host, and I would host Friday, Saturday, Sunday doubles. And, you know, it was just grinding to make a little bit of cash on the side. And I actually enjoyed it. I remember always wanting to work at Friendly's as an ice cream shop guy. Uh, I was, and I applied there like five times. I never got the job. Fucking idiots. <laughs> I was just I was so pissed. But, uh, I mean, I would love to open up my own place. Who wouldn't, you know? My ideal restaurant would be wine bar, craft cocktails, very small, um, small plates, almost like a tapas style, but not exactly, you know, meat, cured meats, cheeses, that's like my thing that I'm in love with. I want to age my own cheese and age my own, like, cure my own meats, like in a cage or something like that. It always intrigued me and stuff like that. I, I don't ever see myself being an owner for some reason. I, I want to own my own place, but I, I always want to be there managing. It's obviously in 10 years, I can't tell you, I'll be 35, so I probably will want to get the fuck out of the industry. But uh, <laughs> I mean, um, that's kind of what got me going and kept me, not the drugs and the alcohol, but, <laughs> but uh, kept me in the industry. 